Hi, my name is Ian Constable and I am the Rehab Specialist at DIYInjuryRehab.com In this short video I am going to show you how easy it is to rupture your Achilles tendon and I am going to use the footage of David Beckham's injury to show you. In this first view you can see the injury taking place with the action slowed slightly. All David does is to step back onto his left foot as he is looking forwards for a pass to play. The movement is not sudden or violent, it looks quite normal. Unless there is a pre-existing problem with the tendon, the forces involved have to be very high indeed. A normal tendon regularly takes in excess of 12 times body weight, that is over a tonne for someone weighing 82 kilograms or 13 stone. The sudden increase in force comes from the calf muscle doing two jobs at the same time, in other words it is working against itself. It is helping to keep his knee bent as well as keep his heel off the ground. This is clearly seen when the tendon tears, he can't keep his knee bent and it shoots back straight. Look at this closely a few times. In the freeze frame immediately before the tear, you can see the knee angle is slightly bent, his heel is slightly off the ground. Watch again, and then 80 milliseconds later, the tendon has snapped. You can see his heel is down and his knee is shot straight back, because he can't use his calf muscle now. Everyone I treated with a torn Achilles claims to have been hit from behind. David is no different, he turns to complain about someone tackling from behind. Look at his reaction again. No one has kicked him so he decides to continue and steps back but his foot is turned out which means he doesn't use his calf muscle and then when he steps forward he suddenly realises his left leg can't support his weight anymore and his World Cup dreams are over. Watch the whole thing again from start to finish. For more information about the structure and function of the Achilles tendon and for an article on the surgical repair of the Achilles tendon, go to my blog at www.diyinjuryrehab.com or click on the link at the side of this video.